All right, what's going on you guys? Today we are gonna cover some of the footwork you may have seen done by a new upcoming solid boxer on the scene, Israel Madrimov. Now if you watch some of his, his fights, he's doing some pretty cool stuff with the footwork, a lot of switching, uh, stepping through, changing angles, uh, a lot of shifting as well, which is sort of like a, like a quick shift, and setting up all kinds of shots. Of course, he's got lots of skill, uh, power in both hands, tactics, he's got head movement, but we're gonna break down some of the footwork today and I'm gonna treat it more lesson style. So instead of the quick youtube type video, we're gonna break it down a little bit slower so that you guys can get it and take it away and start working on it and working on the drills. Now there are three general techniques or moves that he's doing. One is the step through, and this is something you see me do, uh, Tyson used to do a lot, but he had a sort of a different finish with it. So we're gonna cover the step through. Uh, the other one is a quick shift, which is it's like a normal shift, but it's a little bit quicker because it's like a step off. So like a step off and, and a shift combined. Uh, and he usually puts that with a gazelle step, so we'll cover that as well. And then the other one is sort of like an inside switch step or like a little quick switch to set up an angle. And he's doing that both from southpaw to orthodox and orthodox to southpaw. So we're going to cover that down. I'm going to break this down. He's a new upcoming solid boxer. Kind of reminds me of Golovkin a bit, but um, with a little more nifty footwork and sort of a little bit more looseness in his style. And uh, hopefully you guys can pick up on some of these techniques and have fun with it and add it to your boxing and uh, up your footwork levels. All right, let's get into it. All right, so the first technique you're seeing a lot from Majimov is sort of a shift, but it's done a little bit quicker with a step off type of footwork. So let me just show you how that looks right here. Let me show you it forward. If I'm facing you, here's how it works. I'm gonna take this left foot, I'm gonna bring it back here, and then I'm gonna take my right foot and bring it forward. Now this is if I'm going this way, I wanna set up different angles, but I can also just here do it to get into southpaw if I wanna switch that way. Or I can do it here if I want to create something this way. Or I can do it here sort of this way if I want to set up a gazelle punch. And so these are different ones. But what I want you to really get is not just the move, but how to develop the feel for it. Because developing the feel and understanding how that balance works is what's going to allow you to master it. Once you understand how that works, how that shifting that weight transfer works, you're gonna really be able to own this and then be creative your own, in your own way with it, being able to mix it with different kinds of stuff. So the first thing that you wanna do is from your stance, let's say you're orthodox, is you wanna be able to step back and then fall forward on this foot without leaning. You still wanna keep your balance normal. Now when you see it done quick, it's here or even here. You see it really done. But typically what it is, is this front foot, which is shifting, is touching first before that one goes. And that's what's propelling you forward. So here, if I go like this, this is allowing me to move forward and make that shift. If I go perfectly like here and land them at the exact same time, I'm planted, but I don't have anything to go forward with. So, the more forward you want to go, the more that front foot when it shifts is going to drive you. So if I want to go more forward, I go there. And that can really allow me to get forward. Or if I want to just switch, then it see it's quicker here. Like so. So the first thing that you want to do is just practice that. Get used to that. Here. Okay? And feel that. Okay, step back, step forward. Step back, step forward. Okay, step back, step forward. Now if you want to get really good, you can start doing both sides already. Here, step back, step forward. Then I'm gonna lean back a little bit to take weight off this front foot. Step back, step forward. Lean back on the back leg. Step back, step forward. Here. Okay, if you wanna get good at both sides, all right? So that's more the rhythm and the feel of the weight transfer. It's, and once you start to understand that, then you can start to, then you can start to execute in your own way. Okay, then you can start to pull off the technique 
with speed and practically and tactically. So let's just go over the first technique with Magimov. Shifting, usually when I punch and I step through here, step through, right? That's sort of using the weight of my body to step through. I'm gonna make that happen quicker by doing this little switch, which is almost like when you step off, but you're staying low. So here I'm gonna go like this, right? Now I've switched sides. I'm using that to set up whatever I wanna set up. And there are three different setups off of the switch that you'll see Majimov do. The first one is the gazelle punch. So once I go here, here, this weight is actually going forward. I use that momentum to throw the gazelle punch out of the southpaw stance. Or here, if I was a southpaw, I would use it to throw it out of the orthodox. So that's technique number one. Shift, gazelle, okay? The next one is the switch. Once I'm gonna you take, go to the shift and then I'm gonna do a little switch to create another angle. So here, I go like this, I shift, quick shift. I'm not really where I wanna be yet. Maybe my opponent moved, maybe they're covering or maybe have another plan. And then I'm gonna go here like this and create that angle. Now in slow motion, that's this. I shift here. Now watch, since the weight just went to my front leg, this back leg is free. In slow motion, it looks like this. Okay, when you do it fast, it's gonna be here. Okay, you're gonna, it'll be different, it'll be more jumpy. But if I go slow, it's left, right, left, right. Okay, because that's typically how footwork works, left, right, left, right, unless, you're jumping. Almost all boxing is left, right, left, right. So here I go again. If I'm gonna throw the gazelle, I can do that. Or if not, I create that angle and then I can do whatever I want from there. Now the third one is like what I'm gonna show you when he does the step through but we're gonna work it off this quick switch first and then on the step through, it's gonna be almost the same. So here I go like this and then I'm just gonna go with the left hand, boom. I've already created that switch if the opponent is close to me. If the opponent is not close to me, I'm gonna back skip first before I go. So here, it looks like this, boom. I switch, bam. And there I am. I switch and bam, there I am. So you can see how that, if I switched and jab, that would keep them busy while I set that shot up. So that's the third one. Switch, there, back skip, boom. You're gonna see Madrimoff work all these. Once you get good at working this type of technique, then you're gonna be able to, and mastering all those different finishes, then you're gonna be really unpredictable. It's gonna be hard to know which one you're coming with. Here's another element to it that's important. If I'm in my stance here and I'm gonna pull this technique off, if I'm in close or I've got someone that's firing with me, I can do this switch and take my head off the center line as well. So I don't just have to go here and then have my head wide open. I can do one of two things. I can slip, here and from that slip, I can gazelle or I can switch or I can duck. See here, I just take my level, I cut this way. Boom, okay? So to set it up, you got three setups. One, I slip outside, see that? And then I can do whatever I want. Two, I duck. Okay, and the other one is I punch here, quick, just, just to keep them busy. You let that hand go however you want. That's sort of a common MMA tactic that you'll see. 
duck, shift, or slip, punch, boom. Now, once you start getting good at this, you understand Magic Moss footwork is all about the setup. And the setup comes from the rhythm. Because here's the rhythm. Okay, the rhythm is fake. Now, now, it's almost like you're gonna throw a jab, but you just don't throw it. You step as if you are. Now, what he likes to do for that is once he's done a couple switches, he'll start to fake them. Here. And then I can go. And the way I'm faking it is with different angles. Here. I fake, but I go back. I fake, I go to the side. I fake, I go to the side. And then I really go. And then you really step through. And it all comes from that drill, from just understanding how that works. Almost like a Almost like a little, a little karaoke, almost, not quite. I don't do any capoeira, but it's something, it's like a rhythm like that. Now remember, if I wanna go far, I propel myself more. That means this foot hits sooner and there's more travel of that lead leg. Here, but if I just want a quick switch, okay, I'm not gonna propel myself forward as much. It's gonna be short. So remember, how you travel is how you set up your foot switch, how you propel yourself forward. All right, the next one is a step through, and I've shown this in other videos. It's very common with Tyson. One. Here, boom. But the difference is that Madrimov switches and he sets up the left with it, as opposed to Tyson often step through and set up the right. And that comes down to two things. When I'm going, when I first of all, like a baseball pitcher, okay, when you throw that right hand, you shift your body weight forward this foot comes through. So when I throw, if I want to set up the right hand, I step, I put weight onto that leg, I commit, and my hips are fairly open. They can even still be here, that's fine. I throw, and I step through. Now, here, my hips are this way, or even this way, that's fine. Boom, I turn into that shot. Here. Okay, see how that works? I stop myself hard, boom. With Madrimovs, he's taking his hips inward a bit so that he can counter with the left. It's more like this. Here, he's here more than there. Just a little bit, you'll get a feel. Here, boom, 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 boom. And then also again, that. So here, if I throw, Let's say I throw overhand right, overhand right. I'm gonna let my hips come through so that I'm more this way and I can turn as opposed to here where my weight is on the right side and I'm gonna shift. Madrimov is keeping his weight more centered or more towards this back leg. Boom, and that's the step through. The step through allows you allows you to fully switch. Whereas Tyson did a step through, allowing you to turn and go in the other direction. All right, you guys, I hope you liked that video. Sort of took it back to the old school, like some, that's some 2016 kind of stuff where 
we really break it down and something that from a drill or a tactical perspective that you can use. Now, obviously you gotta go watch some Israel Majumov. Watch it in action. You'll see that there's, there's a lot of rhythm and play involved. There's one video even of just him playing around. And that's why sometimes I have a hard time with uh, people who get so strict about the boxing. Don't cross your feet over, don't do this. Have your foot that way. And you'd be surprised that how much expansion and growth you can make by just playing a little bit and being a little bit experimental. Of course, you have to learn the fundamentals and you have to work on the fundamentals. Once you get those down, you're gonna see how much more creative and dynamic you can be. And it takes a fighter like Madrimov to come along and show people how it can be done. And I think in the UFC, you already see a lot of fighters like Dillashaw and Cruz, Garbrandt, uh, he's coming back. Hopefully he, he does well in his comeback. And uh, they're already showing this kind of stuff. And of course, MMA is different in some ways, but in, in many ways there are similarities. It's really a matter of execution and training and putting in the work and just being able to have the capacity to pull it all off. So work on those techniques, watch some Madrimov, and hopefully it ups your boxing game and your footwork. All right, thanks for watching. Peace.